The first time I used this, I remember remarking to you guys that it felt as if I'd never used moisturizer before. Like that was the difference in my skin. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Yes Style Beauty Haul. They sent me a voucher to spend on their website just to be completely transparent because this stuff gets a little bit like in the weeds. They sent me a voucher to spend. They are not paying me separately to make this video. So I did not pay for these products, but I chose them completely myself. Um, all reviews, as you will see throughout, will be honest and completely genuine. Uh, but I was paid somehow, you know? I just want to be completely clear because these things get so muddy these days, especially with the advent of more and more platforms and more and more people joining and becoming influencers in whatever way you use that term. Um, I, I just want to continue to be um, as, as clear as I possibly can. So I did get a voucher to spend, but I'm not being paid separately to make this video. That was a long intro. First of all, I actually showed this in um, a outfit video, which I'll just, I'll, I'll just post it here for you, me actually wearing this. I have been looking for a shirt like this for ages. I am obsessed with vintage, I look all the time. Um, and I'm looking for kind of like a crinkly summer shirt that I can wear either as a regular shirt or just like over the top of something. And this is it, this is exactly it. I'm gonna go back and order more colors because it's the perfect fit. I think it was one size, so, you know, obviously it's a, it's a limited, size range with that but um it's the perfect fit the perfect material if anyone can tell me of where else I can find something like this let me know because I just want an entire wardrobe full of like crinkle thin shirts for summertime that was the only like item of clothing that I purchased um I did get a couple of accessory things so I'll run through those first I got these I haven't used these yet because I thought if I use them and then I wait till afterwards to actually haul them for you they might look a little bit grubby because they're white I know you've seen these. I don't watch TikTok stuff because there's been a couple of times, even when I was posting on TikTok, I wasn't watching TikTok because I cannot be trusted with TikTok. The minute I open the app, I start scrolling, I'm lost. That's me for however many hours that is. And then suddenly I kind of come up for air and I'm like, oh my God, it's been a day. Um, so I can't do TikTok, but I'm aware that this is a thing because occasionally TikTok stuff kind of filters down to Instagram a couple of weeks later and that's when old people like me get to see the things. Um, so these, I'm gonna go, these I saw there and the general premise, if you've not seen these before, is that it stops the water when you're washing your face or doing something at the sink, um, it stops the water from going down your arms and ending up all over the floor. So it uh, remains to be seen, I'll let you know, but I did purchase these because I quite liked the idea of them and I am someone who splashes the water so chances are it will actually be a helpful thing for me uh what else did i get in terms of oh i totally forgot i got this i got a necklace um do you know what's so funny actually now i'm thinking about it today very today um i am going with my friend to get tattoos we've been planning this for ages we actually went to one place it didn't work out um so we're going to this other place and we're going to get tattoos that are much like these these like four point stars i'm gonna get, i think i'm gonna get them here um, some little kind of twinkly stars. That's the plan. So how funny, because I got this weeks and weeks ago. I must have had that on my mind at the time. Um, also this I am yet to use. So they advertise this as being useful for toothpaste, but you can also use it for really any tube. So let me just find, let me find an example for you of something you could use this with. I was struggling to find something that I was happy to waste some of the product off but this is almost finished anyway so i'm just sliding the end of this tube onto this key this alone is useful if you've ever seen these before you can get them um, from all kinds of places you can use them in the kitchen for products whatever and then basically you twist and you twist and you twist but you put this key in here in this little holder and then as you turn the key it twists the packaging so that because there's not very much left of this, it's twisted the packaging a lot. But so that the very, very top part, that's basically what you've got left. So when you take off the lid, you can twist and it'll just give you a small amount of the product. So obviously with toothpaste, this makes a lot of sense, but you can use it with anything. You can use it with products like this, that I've got very, very little left of it and I want to really get, obviously I can open it up, but you know what I'm saying. You wanna get the very last remnants of something out of. This is a really useful little tool. You can get them from all over. Uh, but when I saw it, I had to 
give it a go. Oh, and this I forgot I got as well. An eyelash comb. Again, this is totally like a TikTok thing, I realise, but an eyelash comb. So I have never used one of these before, but very, very interested. So you put your, uh, you do your mascara and then you comb through your lashes. That's the idea. It looks like a torture device, but I will let you know because like I say, I have not used this one yet. And I think my mascara might be a little too set for this to work with, but I'm very interested to see how this works. One thing that I purchased that I've had before from Yes Style and took me an age to use up. I, you might remember me talking about it because I was so, so impressed with it the first time around. Um, I think I actually, it probably took me two years to finish the whole thing, if not longer. Um, but I wasn't using it every single day. The Time Revolution Essence from Misha. And it's the first time I'd used an essence. I've not really heard very many people talk about it before, apart from the SK2 one, which is incredibly, incredibly expensive. The general concept of this is it's kind of like a hydrating toner, as I understand it. So you can do whatever you want. It says you can put it on a sponge, um, not a sponge, on a, a cotton pad. But what I like to do is put a little bit in the middle of my palm and then I'll do that and splash it all over my face, just kind of press it into my face. That is the only skincare product that I do that with. You know, you see in like celebrity makeup artist um, stuff and like Vogue beauty secrets and they always take a little bit of serum or whatever and they're just like, that's not my vibe, but with this, it makes the most sense. And I feel like I'm wasting the least amount of product doing it that way, rather than using it on a cotton pad. The first time I used this, I remember remarking to you guys that it felt as if I'd never used moisturizer before. Like that was the difference in my skin. Like I, I put it on and was like, oh my God, like post facial feeling immediately. I don't know what is in it. I don't understand how it works. I am not that kind of YouTuber. All I can tell you is, as soon as I was on the site, I was like, I know the first thing that I'm gonna buy. I did get um, some earrings, one of which is here. One of which is somewhere in the house. Um, some like bar earrings. The problem that I had with these ones is the bar was a little bit too long. And because I've got two piercings, but they are less than 12 months old, I don't wanna take one of them out. I wanna leave them. Um, so the bar was kind of like in the way of the second piercing. So I haven't really been able to wear those. Oh, the other one's in this box the ones in this box. But what I did buy that I have been using is these. They're supposed to be like re replacement earring backs. You know, like those rubbery clear ones that you get sometimes. What I've been using them for, because I love a stud, I love the look of a stud, but the reason that I wear little hoops all the time is comfort. If I'm gonna put on any kind of jewelry, it's gonna go on and it's never gonna come off again, or I'm gonna take it off, forget about it, and it's gone forever. Mm -hmm. That's just kind of how I am. I can't switch out my jewellery all the time. If I put on jewellery, I'm wearing that jewellery for like two weeks and then maybe I'll think about changing it. But like I took off my rings um, a couple of months ago and it took me weeks to put them back on again. I just, I can't. So this is another reason that I don't want to mess with the earrings as well. But if I put on a stud, I don't want to have to take the stud out in the evening. Um, I want to be able to sleep with it in and it's uncomfortable. So what I use these for is I put them on the back of the earring backs. So like as an additional back, just so that the last thing, like it completely covers any metal pole, uh, the last thing that hits my skin is this kind of silicone -y thing. So comes with a million of them, a hundred pieces apparently, so I might be slightly overstating a million, uh, but I have used those and I would recommend something like that if you, like me, struggle with um, discomfort with earring backs uh, and you have to sleep in your jaw, otherwise you'll never use it again. So. I have been testing out these two BB creams. I'm wearing one of them today. I'm actually wearing this one. It's the Purito Seeker Clean Clearing BB Cream. The reason that I decided to go for this one instead of this one today was that I do have some breakouts and I thought this might help me along because it's a clearing BB cream. Um, the other one I've got is the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. Both of them, I got them in the shade 23. I'm really enjoying them. I have been testing these out. It's now become way too extensive, the testing of these two products. I've been testing them for more than a week. I've had them side by side on my face. I've left the house with a tape mark down the middle of my face. It's getting, it, like at this point, I know exactly how I feel about the products, but I just can't stop like, but really, is there a difference? They are so, so similar. So look out for that video because I have thoughts, I have thoughts. They are maybe a little too dark for me. I did have to kind of blend down my neck and I would say possibly the Purito one is a little darker than the Misha. It's so difficult because it's all about tones, but 
I do really like them. If you are calico in, uh, also I'm wearing it relatively heavy today. Uh, if you're calico in number seven, that is always my benchmark. Um, 23 is not a million miles away and I don't think that the shade range is large enough for you to get a closer shade match. Um, something I got for my body, speaking of breakouts, is this anti-blemish body lotion. This specifically says for back and chest. I honestly haven't found that this is useful at all. It's pink. You know, like that clearing stuff from, you know, the stuff you used to be able to get in like a, a bottle and you had to shake it up. No, you didn't shake it up, did you? You were supposed to leave the sediment stuff at the bottom and then you got that. It was like a clearing clay. It's that colour. It's like a calamine lotion. I don't know if it's, it doesn't smell like a calamine lotion, but it's pink. It's pink, which made me feel like, are they trying to emulate that? And if you look at it, I'll zoom you in. You can totally see that little particles as it drips. I don't know what that's all about. I don't know what this is made up of. I'm sure, oh, it's got niacinamide in it. Of course, it's got niacinamide in it. And salicylic acid. So all those things, right up my street. But I'm just not getting from it what I would get from, say, Ameliore or any of the other smoothing body creams that I've used. I really expected it to be, like, just head and shoulders above because this is specifically made for clearing um, acne on the body and I do tend to still get the occasional um, breakout on my arms, my chest, my back, sometimes my hips which is a weird place um, but I do get those those little kind of spots so I thought that this would be better and it's not, it's just not. The experience of using it was like meh, um, I'm going to keep using it so if my opinion changes over time I'll let you know but I have um, had much more success with products that I've used in the past so I wasn't massively impressed by that. Um, I got this hyaluronic acid intensive cream from, is it called COSRX or is it COSRX? I don't know. But my daughter recently introduced me to this brand through some blemish control patches. Like you put them on, I'm sure you've heard of this before, but it was new to me. These blemish patches, which are completely legit. Watch this space because I'm going to talk more about those. But I um, picked that up. I haven't used it yet because I'm already working on a million moisturisers. Um, what else have I got in here? Oh, this. I mean, everything in this haul is like TikTok made me buy it, even though I don't watch TikTok. This is magical. I am sold. Completely sold. Love. And it's so funny because beauty trends are just cyclical, aren't they? Because when I first started making YouTube videos, everyone was using brushes. I still use my hands at that point. But under no circumstances would anybody be caught dead using a sponge. And then Beauty Blender came out on the block and now we're seeing things like this. Like I saw the other day someone used this, a wet one of these, to put their foundation on with and was like, oh my God, look at this. I couldn't believe, I could not believe. You do whatever you wanna do. Whatever works for you, whatever is your preferred way of applying whatever product you're applying. But it really tickled me because Whatever is the current thing is what the new generation of people think is the only thing. It's like, oh my God, have you tried this thing? Yes, we've tried it before. And then we were told we weren't supposed to do that anymore because we had to use brushes. And then we were told we weren't supposed to use brushes anymore because we were supposed to use a beauty blender for the best finish. And now we're going back to this. And like those thin, it's, it absolutely baffles me, but this is legit. I, I love that wherever you're getting one from, because obviously there's a million different versions. I will always have one of those for my powder now. Uh, and possibly, oh, penultimate, second to last product. I got this, I got two of these and I gave one to my friend. When I saw it, I thought, she's gonna love this. It's the Coringco, is that the brand? Coringco. Uh, it's a Starlight Ferris Wheel Snowball Lip Balm. You're not prepared. You are not prepared for this. If you're a packaging junkie, look at this. Can you even stand it? How beautiful. I only wish that this was like a lipstick holder but I could put other products in and it wasn't only this product. I, I am thinking, I wonder if this lid will fit on other lipsticks that I have because the lid, it's amazing. Who thought of this? I haven't swatched this yet. It looks really scary. It is scary. But it's a, no, it's not scary. It's not scary at all because it is a lip balm. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm actually gonna put it on now. Oh, it just adds a peachiness to that nude lip liner that I'm wearing. Oh, 
I am obsessed with that. I'm gonna throw that in my handbag immediately. Also, while I remember, because someone's gonna ask me and I'm not gonna remember, I'm wearing Subculture Lip Pencil from MAC, which is not my favorite, honestly, because it's like, it's a bit kind of dead looking and it's not, the, the finish is meh, but that's what I'm wearing. Uh, and then the last thing that I purchased from Yes Style um, is this DHC um, deep cleansing oil. I had a sample of this years and years ago and um, I've been wearing a lot more makeup recently again, just playing around with things. I've also been having more breakouts, probably not a coincidence. And obviously as it gets to summer, I'm wearing more and more sunscreen. I do try to remember to wear it every day, but I'm a lot more diligent when it comes to kind of like spring, summer, autumn than I am in the winter time. Uh, so I do feel like I need that extra bit of cleansing. And if you are oily, don't be put off by the fact that this looks like a really heavy oil. It's the perfect kind of um, cleanser for you if you're oily. It goes on as a real thick oil. Put it on your skin, dry it with dry hands. It can really like uh, get in there and break everything down. And then all you need is hot water and you rinse it off and it all kind of like emulsifies and becomes nothing. It's fantastic, really, really good. Of course, if you want to use it with a hot cloth, all the better. Um, but that, I think, I think it's possible that I'm missing something because I, like I say, this stuff did arrive a couple of weeks ago. I just wanted to come up with you with a few first impressions with some of the products. Uh, but I think that's everything that I purchased, hopefully. If not, you'll probably hear about whatever I've forgotten about in a future video. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. I will leave whatever code they've given me below um, for your order, if I've got a code, honestly, at this point. I've, I've lost it, I've lost it. Um, I've lost, it's been so long. I've waited too long to make this video, uh, but I will leave whatever information I have for you below. If you have shopped on YesStyle, tell me what is your favorite product because I'm definitely going back for a couple more things um, that I was looking for and a couple things that I know that I'm gonna be repurchasing once I've used them up of the stuff that I've shown you, so let me know. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.